Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain few binomial distribution problem. Before going to start binomial distribution problems, we will see the MGF, moment generating function of a binomial distribution. Now we know the formula of MGF, moment generating function mx of t is equal to e of e to the power of tx. E of e to the power of tx is equal to, we know the formula, sigma, x is equal to 0 to infinity, e to the power of tx into p of x. But our uh, p of x is, our p of x, in binomial distribution, p of x is ncx into p to the power of x into q to the power of n minus x. Now that is equal to, if you substitute p of x value, binomial distribution, uh, pmf, if you substitute p of x as binomial pmf, you will get like this. Now, uh, e to the power ncx sigma ncx into e to the power of t into p whole to the power of x into q to the power of n minus x. By using binomial theorem, this one we can write as p into e to the power of t plus q whole to the power of n. This is binomial theorem expansion. x uh, a plus b whole to the power of n like that. E, p, to the p into e to the power of t plus q whole to the power of n. This is about a moment generating function in BD, binomial distribution. mx of t is equal to p to the power of t plus q whole to the power of n. Now, in binomial theorem, uh, we have several problems are there. We will see at least a few, two to three problems. Now, for binomial, the first problem is, uh, the first problem is uh, for binomial distribution of a mean 4 and variance 2, they have given in BD, they have given mean is equal to 4 and variance is equal to 2. Now, what we have to find? We have to find the probability of getting at least 2 success, at most 2 success and find P of X, uh, 5 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 7. Now, this is uh, looking like just a probability problem. It's uh, looking like, like probability problem, general probability problem. Now, how to identify whether the given problem is a general problem or binomial theorem problem or poison uh, poison distribution problem by pd binomial distribution problem or poison distribution problem or now binomial distribution and poison distribution both comes under discrete random variable a variable x is said to be discrete random variable if x assumes only countably finite or infinite number of values. Countably finite. Now, x lies between 0, uh, uh, x lies between within countably 10, 11, 12 or 7, 8 like that. If x is equal to uh, n, number of trials is equal to n, number of trials is equal to either 7, 10, 12, 15 like that. Countably finite number of trials n is equal to total number n is equal to total number of trials n is equal to countably finite then we have to use BD binomial distribution. If n is large now a coin is tossed 1082 times Some, suppose one problem is there a coin is tossed 1082 times that means n is equal to very large any uh, how many times it is tossed 1082 n is equal to oh, n is equal to 1082 you will get it is very large value count uh, we cannot count with our fingers uh, 1082 if n is equal to very large then only we have to apply poison distribution countably if x assumes only countably finite number of values n is fixed fixed countably finite number of values then n is fixed then we have to apply bd binomial distribution if n is countably infinite large values 1062 or 7000 8000 like that large values countably infinite countably infinite number of values then we have to apply poison distribution remember this thing now coming to the problem here in uh, binomial distribution binomial distribution mean is given given mean what is given mean mean is equal to np is equal to how much is given mean is equal to 4 mean np is equal to 4 variance 
variance is equal to what is the formula in binomial distribution always remember mean is equal to NP variance is equal to NPQ variance is equal to how much is given 2 now NP by, therefore now we will write NPQ by NP is equal to NP NP get cancelled uh, NPQ is uh, 2 by 4 that is equal to implies Q is equal to 1 by 2. We have got uh, NP NP get cancelled. Q is equal to 1 by 2. Q is equal to we know that uh, P plus Q is equal to 1 always. P plus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 implies P is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2. P is equal to 1 by 2. P also we have got. Now using this we will find NP. Mean is equal to NP. N into P is how much? 1 by 2. N, N into P. Mean N into P is equal to mean is equal to how much? 4. Therefore N is equal to 8. N is equal to 8. NP. Mean is equal to NP mean is equal to NP. N into P is equal to how much we have got? 1 by 2. But given NP is equal to 4, if you cross multiply N is equal to 8 we have got. Now using all these things P is equal to 1 by P is equal to 1 by 2. Q is equal to 1 by 2. N is equal to uh, 8. Now we will write the PMF of BD. PMF of binomial distribution. P of X is equal to X is n what is the formula n c x into p to the power of x into q to the power of n minus x n how much is our n how much is our n 8 c x is x only now p how much is p 1 by 2 to the power of x into q how much is q 1 by 2 to the power of 8 my n minus x n minus x 8 minus x x is equal to z x is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on up to 8 n is equal to how much n is equal to x 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 up to 8 because n is equal to 8 n number of trials n is equal to total number of trials n is equal to 8 we have got we find now p of x is equal to x the pm of bd is like this and we substituted we wrote the formula and we substituted all the values in the formula now what we have to find in the first problem the first bit is at least two successes first bit second one at most two successes third one x lies between 5 and 7 now we will see the first one is first bit is p of at least two successes at least what is mean by at least p of x greater than or equal to 2 p of x greater than or equal to 2 is equal to x greater than or equal to means p of greater than or equal to p of x is equal to 2 plus p of x is equal to 3 plus p of x is equal to 4 plus p of x is equal to 5 plus p of x is equal to 6 plus p of x is equal to 7 plus p of x is equal to 8 in in this uh, in this one in every in every p of x is equal to x is equal to we have we wrote the formula wherever x is there x is equal to 2 x is equal to 3 x is equal to 4 x is equal to 5 x is equal to 6 up to x is equal to 8 in this one we have to substitute now I will write a 8 c x is equal to 2 8 c 2 1 by 2 to the power of 2 1 by 2 to the power of 8 minus 2 plus p of x is equal to 3 8 uh, p of x is equal to 3 means 8 c 3 1 by 2 to the power of 3 into 1 by 2 to the power of 8 minus 3 is 8 minus 3 and if you simplify and if you write until last one is x is equal to 8 8 c 8 1 by 2 p to the power of a, 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 a 1 by 2 to the power of x into 1 by 2 to the power of n minus x n minus x 8 minus 8 now like this if you simplify the first one 8 c 2 value if you write uh, how much you will get and all the values if you simplify 
the value and this value plus and so on plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 and if you simplify using the calculator 1 by 2 whole to the power of 2 1 by 2 to the power uh, 8 minus 2 is a 6 and if you using the calculator if you do the simplifications you will get 247 by 256 do the simplification x is equal to 2 x is equal to 3 x is equal to 4 5 6 7 8 and if you simplify you will get the value as 247 by 256 the second one is p of at most at most two successes at most two successes uh, <clears throat> that is equal to P of x less than or equal to 2 at least at least what did I say about at least I have three apples with me uh, one girl came and asked me that I want at least two apples what is the meaning of that if I give two apples or more than two if I give also no problem that's why P of x greater than or equal to 2 means 2 3 4 5 6 until up to 8 because total is 8 highest is 8 until that one at most is at least quite opposite p of x less than or equal to 2 p of x less than or equal to 2, how many are there p of x is equal to 0 plus p of x is equal to 1 plus p of x is equal to 2 in this formula again in this formula again wherever x is there x is equal to 0 8c 0 1 by 2 to the power of 0 into 1 by 2 to the power of 8 minus 0 in the same way 8c 1 1 by 2 to the power of 1, 1 by 2 to the power of 8 minus 1, 8c2, 8c2, 1 by 2 to the power of 2, 1 by 2 to the power of 8 minus, 8 minus 2. If you write and if you simplify, 8 minus 2. And if you simplify all these values also with the help of calculator and uh, you will get the answer as uh, 37 by 256 this is also you will get two, uh, 37 by 256 and the last bit what we need to find find p of x lies between 5 and 7 what is the meaning of x less than x lies between 5 and 7 means we have to write x is equal to 5 plus x is equal to 6 plus x is equal to 7 third bit is third bit is um, p of x less than or equal to 5 and 7 that means p of x is equal to 5 plus p of x is equal to 6 plus p of x is equal to 7 7 third bit is p of x is equal to 5 x is equal to x is equal to 5 plus x is equal to 6 plus x is equal to 7 that is equal to the same way 8c n n c x 8c 5 1 by 2 to the power of 5 1 by 2 to the power of 8 minus 5 in that formula p of x is equal to 6 8c 6 1 by 2 to the power of 6 1 by 2 to the power of 8 minus 6 plus 8x is equal to 7, 8c, 7, 1 by 2 to the power of 7 into 1 by 2 to the power of 8 minus 7. If you write all the values and if you simplify 8 minus 5, 8 minus 6, 8 minus 7 and if you, you will get 92 by 256. Like this you have to do the first problem. This is the end of the first problem and we will go to the second problem.